and we are off. It is that time of year again. We're going sick of deer hunting on the Eastern shore. Um, I actually just got off work. So uh, we're gonna get all of our stuff loaded up and packed up and head over to my parents' house and get all of their stuff packed up, loaded up. And then it's gonna be one big caravan over to the Eastern shore. So we've got a pretty early wake up call. I'm excited to get over there. So here we go. AM people. AM. Here we go. We are sick of deer hunting on the eastern shore and I have looked forward to this trip pretty much since we left last year. And Chad's with us this time, Bryce is with us this time, and it's just going to be an unbelievable adventure. Um, I'm excited to be over here. We're going we're gonna to sit in here as, as long as we can for the next three days until we get one. I can, I can also honestly say that I will not be picky. <laughs> The first sick up, stag or hunt that I get a shot at. He's gonna get it. This place is really cool. Well guys, went ahead and packed up and walked out of here for the morning. We had an unbelievable hunt. Everybody saw a stag, um, except me actually, but um, <laughs> Uh, Chad saw a nice stag, Dad saw a spike, Bryce saw a hind, and Greg actually killed two hinds. So just everything was popping off. But anyway, we're going to meet up. Um, I'm going to meet up with Bryce. We're going to drop our stuff off, and then we're going to go help him. So um, we've got a little bit of work ahead of us, but excited about it. And then we're going to get back out in the evening. So see you guys in the evening. After we got Greg's deer taken care of, um, I quickly found a remedy for coming up empty handed this morning. If there ever was one, it's probably a remedy for just about anything and that is backstrap and eggs. Then it was time to gear up and get ready for the evening hunt and we brought the kayaks again this year to check out the island that was adjacent to the property we were hunting. Um, so Chad decided to get his kayak and take that over there for the evening hunt and it turned out to be pretty successful. It's in the 
the sled. Oh, oh you got the sled back there. Oh, I missed that. Look at this Man, thing. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Look at wow. its neck. Dude, he's a stud. That is it. Look at his body. He looks like what? a stocky stuff. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Let me try and pick it up. Yeah, he's a hammer. Yeah. Wow, all his little points are long. Wow, that's beautiful. So I was probably a hundred yards back from the edge. So you know, I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, I see a, I see a, a, a sicka. And it, you know, it's so I'm like, oh man, there's one. So I, I get the gun, and I'm, I'm looking, and it's, I mean, it's, it's a hundred yards. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking, and I'm steady, but it's, you know, there's, there's a tree in the way, and and it's, it's moving around a little bit, kind of, kind of feeding along, and I'm like, all right, no rush, it's way early. You know that thing. If it's thing, unless it goes back in the marsh, I am gonna get a shot at something. Right. So I'm, you know, I'm on it, watching it, and then all of a sudden it stops and it throws its head up and it's looking back up the marsh that mm -hmm. way. So I've got the gun on it and I can only kind of see its head and I can't, you know, I don't have a shot at its vitals or anything. But I was like, man, it's standing there looking pretty intent. And so I just picked my head up off the gun. I looked and this big some bitch was coming, like. And he, he would come and he would throw his head back. Mm -hmm. He never bugled, but he'd throw his head back and speed up a little bit, but he never stopped walking. Right. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm, you know, I'm trying to get the gun on him and I'm <laughs> following him. I'm like, oh crap, ah oh, crap. So finally he throws his head back and he's going through a, a hole and I went, Rah! and he didn't stop. So I jumped to the next hole and I'm like, you ain't, I, he, I'm not gonna stop you. Right. And then I saw the other one run was it what was it huh i don't i couldn't tell i actually thought it was a small stack mm -hmm. um but you know it rolls off a little bit i don't know what else was over there mm -hmm. so i went and he didn't stop when he went through so i looked and i jumped to the next hole and i'm like when you walk through that one i know you're 100 yards away but when you walk through that one i'm, I'm shooting <laughs> and so he you know he he put his head back and then he he started to walk through that hole again and smoke mm -hmm. oh. of course then i'm sitting there on the gun i'm like oh please see him oh please see him and smoke clears, and I'm like, crap! <laughs> I <don't laughs> oh no! <laughs> I reload everything and pack up, text you guys, and I get up and I start walking over there, and I get about halfway there, and he just. You saw him. Oh my god. So gosh. he dropped him right I where he was. Folded him up. That's awesome. Now, him, like... are you ready for some good news? Yeah. So I shot, and he dropped. Yeah. I didn't know he dropped, of course, until whenever. And I, I knew it was early, so I grabbed him, I shot him on the backside of that island. Oh, you were on the back side. I grabbed him and I drug him to this side as quick as I could. Right. Obviously, I didn't gut him or anything. Right. When I just went back in there to get him, I could hear leaves rustling in there, and I was paddling out, and I got out to the edge and one bugle. Right on the island. Right Jeez. on the island. Right where he was. So there's a wow. so rival over there. This is what I think. I think, I, I, as hard as it's going to be to not do it, I don't think that gets hunted in the morning. Oh. I, I, the evening spot. It, they were so early. Yeah. I shot him at six o'clock. Right. Yeah. I, I don't think I don't think you go in there in the morning. And then I think whoever Lauren, if you want to go in there, whatever, I will go with whoever's going in and film. Oh, and we can oh, set in the cool. same little ground blind that I made. <laughs> yeah, I saw your holly. Well, how far was that? Because you sit awesome. on the ground. Just, so, I hope you filmed some of this. I didn't. I didn't film any. I of hope it. you I, did something on your phone. I at least a picture. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, no retrieval, nothing. No, I was so like just worked up. <laughs> So the next day we waited until evening came and it was on. Well, we've made it to the boat launch and um, what we're trying to do is take these kayaks over to an island out here. We've heard tons of bugling and Chad went yesterday, saw a lot of sign, killed a really nice stag. So basically we're trying to do the same thing. So we gotta put the kayaks in, we gotta paddle a little ways, go through a marsh, 
and then we'll make it over there and we can get set up. So got a little bit of work ahead of us, but as soon as we get there, it should be really good. <laughs>
can't, I can't see over that boat. And I hope I didn't rush that because I, I tried to stay as steady as possible. And then as soon as he turned, I had the shoulder. I just went, I just squeezed off. I mean, I didn't wait. I just went bang. I didn't see him run though, I saw her run, but I didn't see him move. So I have, when, he, when you shot, he went forward. Oh, I gone down. Okay. I, no, I tried not to move, I mean. Okay, her head, her head just popped out. Another side of that big oak tree.
Okay, we can wait, I guess. How about now? Yeah. Oh, man, now I don't have her. How about now?
freaking way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at that. <laughs> wow. Look at that. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. I mean, this, this is far. For me, this is a far shot. And I think he... I don't, I don't think he went anywhere. I think, I think he was right here. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that. I want to see where I hit him. Because he had, he was a hard quarter. Never came out. That's Didn't. gotta be up in that chest cavity. Never came out. It's gotta be up in here. I'm like overwhelmed. I, I cannot believe that just happened. I honestly can't. I, I haven't even, like, I don't think I've processed this. <laughs> and, and like, what I don't think anybody watching this will ever understand is how incredibly elusive these animals are. How much you don't see them, let alone two of them. And, and you don't get a shot at them or like get to sit and watch them for very long. You, you don't, I mean, what, what just happened is like unheard of. And I'm not an experienced sick of deer hunter by any means, but this is like, it, it may never happen again in my entire life. That sort of a scenario, that sort of a thing. So I'm just incredibly grateful right now. I'm still shaking also. Like, <laughs> I just, wow. I mean, thank you, Lord, on that one. And thank you, Chad. <laughs> Chad found the spot and scouted it and went over here the day before, killed an amazing stag, and then we just came back over here and dropped two. I, I cannot believe that. Thank you, Lord. That is awesome. We're not in the middle of some miserable soup marsh and Yes. Falling down and getting stuck and Oh, all of the adversity that we've overcome this entire hunt <laughs> just pays off right now to be here in this and this was the last hunt is it this one was it we, we had one hunt left we've been here since thursday morning we found it thursday morning thursday like literally non-stop hunting we had one hunt left an hour left i mean they came with an hour left of light on freaking real hey drag him up here